Hello everyone, how are you doing and welcome back to X Anima. Today I'm going to do something a little bit one-off and a little bit different because a viewer by the name of Michael Peters said the following thing to me in a comment. I recommend an episode on the novice through expert practice mode. Those fights are quite entertaining and you get to see and wear a couple of full sets of armour as you go. Well, Michael, it would be a pleasure. I have not done the practice arena for a while. I've also just gone for a, a three mile run and I'm a little bit out of breath still. <laughs> so I apologise if I sound like I've just ran around the block because I have. So the practice arena mode is actually the original combat test uh, for the very, very first build of this game. I'm going to call this guy Cohen after Cohen the Barbarian from Discworld which I've just been reading for the millionth time. Give him black hair, a nice Viking sexual cut. Lovely, that'll do. Cover yourself up, you're making us all feel sick. Uh, so this one has preset enemies with preset equipment and weapons and preset skills. They're always the same every time in the same order in an increasing scale of difficulty and rather than having to start with crappy inept weapons and things, uh, you get a choice of a few basic things here. Sword or mace, bill or two-hander, two-handed axe, buckler. We're going to go for the basic two-handed sword here and we'll see how we get on. And I think we start with a... Uh... Wow, you don't fuck about, do you? You're an eager beaver. But, uh... I can't remember exactly, we'll check in a second, but I think you uh, start with a full decked out range of skills. And I th uh, I'm not sure exactly how that works, but we'll find out in just a second. Thrusting attack! Ah, that was a bad miss. Um, yeah, we start with every skill, that's cool. And we can also loot our opponents in this mode as well and there are various weapons and items around the edges on these racks and things if we want to change weapons. Uh, but we'll stick with this for now. I think this guy has a bill. Come at me bro. Come at me bro. Thank you. Thrusting attack. Hey it actually worked. I really need to be practicing those thrusting attacks. Ow, Christ! And what better place to uh, practice them than the practice arena? One weird thing about this mode as well is if that if you die uh, and then you start again, your character starts again from the beginning with all of the equipment that he looted and took from the previous attempt. So uh, dying actually gives you an advantage as opposed to a disadvantage. <laughs> Like, what I mean is, you know, there's the opposite of a penalty for dying, so that's quite strange. But I suppose it is supposed to be a, you know, kind of a friendly mode in a way. Um, but we'll get through the novice one, hopefully, and then we'll move on to the expert mode, which is far more interesting and intense. And you get some cool full plate guys and stuff. Fashion, uh, fashion ex anima here. Morning star. I haven't had that morning star for a while. I'm going to take that and probably never use it. But that's what I like to do in ex anima, as you've probably noticed. Okay, you've got a sledge. I like your style, my friend. Fellow sledge user. Gotta love him. God love you. Thrusting attack. Well, you are dead, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, booties. I've got booties. Chain shirts, waistcoat, or gombason, whatever that is. Waistcoat. White shirt, I like that better. Yep. Okay, cool. Move on. Ooh, you don't fuck about, do you? And you've got the really annoying shield. So I'm going to have to try and... Ow. I'm going to have to try and get some... Some backhand attacks in against you. Is 
see if we can time this a little better than we are. As in, not terribly. There we go. Someone said to me recently, um, I can't get used to the fact that the controls are uh, character relative and not camera relative. So, so if, for example, if you're facing in this direction and you press the down arrow, they want you to be moving down towards the bottom of the screen. But if you press down, then you back pedal. No matter which way you're facing, up means the way your character is facing. It's tank controls. And um, someone said, like, oh yeah, you can keep pressing space or even holding space to kind of um, f keep the camera focused around the back of your character and stuff while you're fighting. I found that much easier when I first got into this game, but believe me, that is a crutch that you do not want to be relying on. You need to work out uh, how the tank controls work and use them to your advantage. You really do. Um, I'm not pretending to be any kind of expert on this game, but once I got over that, and I was able to fight uh, like facing in this direction and stuff. It made it so much easier and so much more enjoyable. Uh, and also, someone worked out that you can change one line of code in one of the game's files to make the camera automatically stay behind your character's back like this at all times. And they were like, this should be an option you can turn on in the game. Believe me, it shouldn't. I know what you're thinking. I know that this like goes against uh, all kind of decent sensibilities of good video game design and stuff, but it, it has to be this way. It has to work this way, otherwise it would destroy the depth of the combat. You need to be able to view the co uh, view and play the combat from all angles. Uh, otherwise, the pace of it and the technicalities and intricacies are completely destroyed. So that guy gave us the much better two-handed sword, as well as some cooler looking clothing and uh, some gloves, which is nice of him. Thank you very much for that, matey. And this one's annoying because she has the Viking shield and the uh, nice... Oh, hello. As well as the nicely balanced um, sword. But, sword. But apparently it didn't work. She fell. She fell in battle. And we're going to take her pauldrons, her spaulders, and her shoes, shoeses, chaussures, and her van braces, and her chain shirt. And we're starting to get a little better decked out now. Starting to look pretty nice. Next fight. Uh, oh yes, this guy's a tricky little fucker. He's got a pole axe and a mean temper and a very quick move set. And I need to get out of the shadows. Not the band, the shadows, who did that tune, Apache. Because it will be good to be in them with uh, Cliff Richard. Because I think Cliff Richard was originally in the shadows. But I digress. What have you got? What are you going to drop? Oh no, that was it at the end. Congratulations, you have defeated all opponents in the novice arena. Congratulations. Let's move on now to... Sorry about that. Just had to uh, cut out some boobies. <laughs> Let's move on now to the practice expert mode. And apparently we can continue in with our same equip load, so let's do that. Oh, hang on. There are some other things here. Um, I think we've probably got better than what's on offer here, so... Yeah, let's let's try this. So people start with better equipment and skills. Come at me. Come at me, please. Come on, then. Um, and they slowly move into... Actually, they quickly move into being fully plated knights with an extremely aggressive set of skills and uh, far more intelligent AI than we are dealing with here. Okay, so this guy already has some stuff. Uh, sleeveless chain vest, chain gauntlets, chain leggings. Pretty nice. We're having them. I want it all. I want it all. I want it all. 
and I want it now. Next fight. What have you got? A very cool looking shield, my lady. I can't see what your... Oh, you've got the bloody Proctor Sword thing, haven't you? And you're not afraid to use it. But, I have to say, in terms of fashion and everything, you look probably the coolest we've seen so far. And it actually makes me feel somewhat intimidated. <laughs> and now I'm fluffing a lot of attacks. But I clip you on the arm. Not going to do a massive amount of damage, but it's better than doing no damage. Considering that I'm taking quite a bit. Thrusting attack. Well out of range. Ow, fuck me. But at least now we have some decent coverage. I'm not actually taking permanent damage. So if we do survive this round, which we did, we should recover most of that. And you have got leather van braces, which we'll have. Cloth trousers, velvet shirt. What have I got? Cloth, simple cloth. We'll take velvet. Uh, a well-made heater shield with an unknown insignia. I like that, and that's rare because you don't really see that in arena mode. And I think you are somewhat naked. No, you have. Okay, you're not naked, so I don't have to censor anything out again. Again, I have seen. Oh God, you've got the bardish and a helmet. And we want a helmet. I have seen plenty, and I mean plenty, of Xanima videos on YouTube with the boobies exposed and not censored. And I think that if I put one up with the boobies in, then there would be no problems, right? I mean, this is a c quite a seriously violent game, and yet people can't handle uh, a pair of nipples, which is terrible. But still, I don't want to risk it, so I'm just going to... That's why I cut out the uh, the boobies before. Ow! This Bardish is a really quite a cool um, medium ranged weapon if you know how to use it, and I don't. And overheads are not much good when the guy has a massive hench helmet. But still. Hey, that was a good move, my friend. Ow! So was that. Fuck me. Stop it with the overheads, you piece of shit. Okay. I need your helmet after that, because I took some damage. Plate helm. We'll have that. We'll have that. We'll have them. We'll have that. We'll have those. And we'll have that, because why not? And we'll have them, because why not? Looking pretty good now taking some damage, quite a bit of damage in fact, and we're not even near the worst dudes yet. Um, okay, you have seem to have, you have the same sword, you have plate van, plates, uh, pauldrons, shoulders I mean. I call them pauldrons because of Morrowind. <laughs> That's where I learned that term, pauldrons, meaning shoulder armour. Uh, and, because it, ow, because it was a whole, like, equipment class in uh, Morrowind was, was your shoulder armour, your pauldrons. And then they removed that class in Oblivion. And uh, so in the Shivering Isles expansion for Oblivion, um, That's even better, I think. So, in the Shivering Isles expansion for Oblivion, there was a, a pub in New Sheoff called The Missing Pauldron, which I thought was brilliant. That's probably better coverage. We want those. We want those. How does this compare? Uh, three, three, five, five. Um, not as good. I do love the look of that one, though. Gombasong, we want padding. Van braces. Um, yeah, I'll probably go for the new ones. Chain leggings we already have. Let's continue. Yep. Ooh, 
you're a quick uh, quickie with the mace, you aren't you? And you look quite traditionally medieval because you have a blue tabard, which I think looks great. There is a shop next door to where I work, uh, which sells uh, medieval replica things, and they have like a whole uh, like wardrobe rack just of tabards, and I think that's great. <laughs> Not every day that you can say you work next door to a tabard shop. Uh, a tabard, by the way, is like the cloth tunic which goes over a suit of chainmail armour, like um, would normally have a kind of a Christian cross emblazoned on it or something like that, or a lion. It's like what the knights have in Monty Python and the Holy Grail. And that plate helm is the one that I have in the arena campaign, I think. Hey. A quaff. First quaff. Long sleeve chain shirt, better than a chain vest. Doing well. I think, is this the last guy? The last guy is a maniac, and I think this may be him with his crazy giant this uber mace thing. Oh no, he's got a pole hammer. My uh, personal weapon of choice for arena campaigns. So a few good shots with this fucker, and I'm toppling. Remember to practice the thrusts. I need to be practicing those thrusts. Ow. Didn't go well. Um. Okay, my sword got stuck on the wall there. <laughs> Which is, uh, of course... And his mace got stuck on the wall. So, you know... It's a level playing field, <laughs> uh, but that's just all sort of what can happen in uh, the amazing radiant physics of this engine, and I do love it. Whenever it's stuff like that happens, it doesn't always, it doesn't usually feel like it's, uh, you know, a, like a, a glitch or anything. It feels like it's natural. We'll take the pole hammer because I love the pole hammer, and we'll take all your plate gear, take your leggings. Take your gauntlets, take your helmet because it looks badass, we'll take your sabatons, take your padding and your padded trousers, and now we look like a proper knight. Just check. Yeah, we still we have all the uh, manoeuvring in armour skills. Come on then. <laughs> Ow. I was just to make some, about to make some cocky comment about the pole hammer, but <laughs> then he uh, did some serious damage with his pole axe. I'm backed in a corner. That's never good. And I'm failing to parry. I'm knocking things off the walls. I apologise to our benefactors. I'm going to lose my deposit. Ah! Okay, this is going badly. This is going pretty badly. Need to get a couple more hits in before taking one more. There we go. Lovely. Uh, oh, you've got the really cool looking one. I love that one. Um, superior plate, we'll take that, we'll take that, we'll take that, and eh, we'll just take all your shit, I think. Superior chain leggings as well. Superior layered cloth gombason, velvet trous, now we're a fucking knight. Look at that shit, looking great. Okay. Now this is the last guy, as you can see he's somewhat bigger and has this kind of uh, somewhat kind of mystical looking 
Oh, it looks uh, like like the craftsmanship is quite unique. And in the same way that the kind of skeleton sets are in story mode. It looks like it's from a completely different civilization to anything else which is made you know in the game world so um ah shit and having your back to the well, this is going terribly the crosshair was all over the place that's how not to use the crosshair um That set as well, I think, is one of the original things from the, like, one of the, some of the original sui generis screenshots from the days of the campaign, the Kickstarter campaign in 2012. I think they showed that set off, or something like it, all the way back then. And uh, it looks really cool, though, isn't it? It's a shame that you can't try it on, because... Ah, God, I'm nearly dead. Oh, dear. Oh, you are a giant pain in the dick. Because, of course, with this guy being the last one, uh, you can't try his gear on if you beat him. You can only exit. I was almost swallowing my tongue then. Bloody hell. Congratulations, you have defeated all opponents in the expert arena. Well, it was a pleasure. So there you go. Uh, your request, Mr. Michael Peters, is fulfilled. I have played the practice arenas for you, and yes, they are a ton of fun. I actually forgot how fun they are. Um, I just find myself so wrapped up in the uh, arena careers that uh, I forget about how this is a really, really uh, quick and easy way to do some master level, full plate, uh, good old, brutal night duels. And yeah, shorter episode today, but that's that. Thank you very much for watching, and I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know what you think in the comments, leave me a like, subscribe for more, and I will see you next time for more Exanima. Take care, my friends, and goodbye.